No. No. Don't fall for these scams, guys. I'm starting this whole series on how to get rich. Now, it started with how to get rich in real estate. We're gonna expand to how to get rich in different areas, but you gotta look out for the scams, the charlatans, the criminales, okay? And one of the crimes that I see right now on the internet that these scammers are perpetuating is this idea of getting rich by flipping old comic books. Now, here's the thing. You know, I uh, got rich in real estate by flipping. I'm, they call me Mr. Joe Flip, right? Mr. Joe Flip. And I started out flipping little objects, little tiny homes, little tiny homes that I bought. And then I moved up to doll houses. I'd flip doll houses. Then I moved up to outhouses. I flipped outhouses for two or three years, some, some with people still in them. And I moved up. And now I'm flipping the big homes, the big mansions, and I go into these homes and I see old comic books for sale at the garage sales, at the estate sales. I have an eye for what was popular in the 30s and 40s because I was a fan of those books. And guys, there's a scam that's going around that you can find comic book heroes, uh, comic books featuring superheroes of the 30s and 40s that are uh, unknown and that you'll be able to flip to collectors or comic book fans or fans of uh, comic book art or animation or anybody that is some some way related uh, in an interest as a related interest to comic or comic books but guys just because there's this all of this huge superhero movies that are out right now, they can't just ride the coattails of the current interest in superhero movies by telling lies. So these are the superheroes that I see them pushing as a scam. And let me tell you, they don't exist. For example, okay, from 1935, supposedly, there's a superhero called Bottle Cap Man. Bottle Cap Man supposedly carried bottle caps stuck to his belt with a special adhesive and was able to flip them at high speed at gangsters and knock them out with the bottle caps. Guys, again, I'm in, I'm in Los Angeles, one of the wealthiest parts of the country in the center, the white hot center of show business. Okay, and so these are the people that have the money and the interest in old comic books. I've been to these estate sales. I've been in up and down Cannon Drive in Beverly Hills. I know what I'm talking about, and I know how to kibitz with these people, right? Co comic book collectors, I understand their lingo, okay? And I have never seen a, mist a bottle cap, right? A bottle cap superhero. Bottle cap man does not exist. All right, the second one that I keep hearing over and over, especially on YouTube, is Fainting Man. Fainting Man was never a superhero. What he would do was he was using defensive maneuvers. So when he encountered a bad guy, he would faint and essentially play dead until the bad guy came up to him. Then he would grab the bad guy around the angles with his super powerful gloves with that were electrified with the eels that he kept in his pants. Eels in his pants electrified his gloves. He'd catch them by the ankles and flip them in the air. And it was a whole strategy of defense and, and, uh, and using a little bit of cunning, right? Unfortunately, this guy never existed. There was no fainting man. That's the second one I see out there, guys. All right, the third one that I see, and this is so common, especially on the Google machine. If you get on the Google machine, you're gonna see it was Hamburger Man. Now, Hamburger Man was riding the interest in the 30s of beer, starting to see the fast food outlets. And so Hamburger Man was the guy, one of the original guys at the drive-thru at the early hamburger stands, the in and outs the McDonald's from back in the 30s. He would stand there. This was supposedly his, his uh, uh, or, origin story, right? He'd stand at the drive-thru window, and then if he noticed anything out of the ordinary coming through the line, any kind of crime, and he could, he had that sense, 
he'd step away from the line and he'd go into the employee uh, lounge and change into Hamburger Man. Then he would chase this car down the road, throwing hamburgers and fries and milkshakes at high speed at the cr while he's calling the cops on the other line. He still got the headset on. He was able to call the cops from the headset as he's launching cheeseburgers and chicken sandwiches and all kinds of fast food at these supposed criminals that he was able to detect that something was not something was not kosher okay with their behavior and he knew they were up to no good well well that would be a great character right but he didn't exist there was never a hamburger man superhero in any of the comic books from the 30s and 40s. And guys, I've been at every estate sale in Beverly Hills, in Bel Air, in Malibu, okay? All of the high income neighborhoods around here that could afford to pay for a premium copy of a superhero comic book from the 30s and 40s, I've never seen Hamburger Man, never. And I've, I mean, I, I would love to see Hamburger Man because I would be proven wrong. But you hear that sound? That's opportunity knocking and it ain't Hamburger Man answering, okay? So watch out for these scams, these charlatans. There's lots of ways to get rich and we're gonna go over them and many of the videos on this channel, okay? I did it through real estate. They call me Mr. Joe Flip because I've been flipping things since I was three years old. I started with matchboxes I flipped those for a profit, and now I'm one of the biggest flippers in Los Angeles, California, the white hot center of show business. Come on back for more.